Okay, so step one, this is where we pick your theme. Now, at the time of this video, the 70 themes, we're always adding more. And when we add more into the future, we'll let you know if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There, each video will be quick tips on how you can apply the layouts of that theme to your current website. So you can drag new layouts in, they'll pick up the styles of your website. And so you'll never have to do things like redesigning again. You can always keep your website up to date with the, the latest design styles. You're gonna hit a bot and uh, a bot update and a bot will then go and turn those layouts into your, into your brand, which is pretty cool stuff. Um, now, after you sign up, you've still got access to all of these themes in the editor. And again, uh, when you, you can pick any of these themes after you sign up, see all the layouts from those themes, drop them onto page and it'll turn to your styles too. So the key point about that is you don't have to procrastinate too much right here. It doesn't matter which one you pick. In this onboarding, I'm gonna start with one theme and I'll flip to another just so you can see um, how that works. So here's a sneak peek of the editor where you can see 5,000 layouts that are included all for your $9 a month. Can't really say fairer than that. Well, to look to get to those themes, you just click the layouts button and then you can search by theme. Here I'll select Senya um, and I'll select Decca as well. And if I drop um, this one onto the page, the bots will convert it into your colors and fonts. Then you can go on to customize everything which is what you'll be doing shortly um, in day one, day two, and day three, okay? So now I'll drop Decca, um, and you can see it's green. I'll drop it and bang. Now, in my, now it's in my site's colors, and it really is that easy. Okay, so since this is episode one, it is a bit more verbose than the other episodes, which will whip you through a lot quicker. Um, so what I'll do in, in just now is just take four minutes or so just to explain some of the themes so that you can pick yours a little bit better. Um, we're going to start with Nanshi, okay? Um, and that's it's quite a minimal theme, but I'm going to be turning it into this theme called Alio. Now, I designed Alio for the purpose of the five-day challenge, really to show off effects and animations, which in day three, you're going to learn how to click a few buttons and apply awesome effects and animations to your website with no code, no designer required, no agency required, no developer required. Anyone can do effects and animations. Um, so I'll show you the um, header of Alio. Now, the header of every theme comes with lots of features out the box. So you can animate your logos on scroll, you can do um, drop downs, custom mega menus, menu sections, action sections, online shops, and much more. Um, we're gonna be doing that today um, in the headers episode where you're gonna pick your, pick your header. And then the first episode, uh, day two, we're gonna do your whole um, sitemap navigation. Okay, so let's have a look at this theme here called Jillian. This is a newer one, it's quite modern, could be used for um, things like events. Um, in one of the YouTube episodes that's coming up, I'm gonna show you how I use Jillian to turn it into a new redesign for um, Dirty Feet. So it's the same website, same content. We just drag, drag in this theme and there the client has a new website. So again, subscribe to the new YouTube channel to get that one. Look here, we've got Inco, it's very minimal, could be used for arts and agencies. And then we've got Sula. Uh, this one is um, similar to sort of Netflix or Amazon um, in the term, in this kind of carousel. But you don't just have to put videos in your carousel. In mobile, you can uh, mix videos, images, shop products and events. So here you can see a product, uh, this product fittingly has a background video in the product page. You're gonna learn how to do that too. Or I could use it to show events in the reel too. And events pages could do an RSVP or they could even sell tickets right in the page. We've also got Maya, um, which is minimal, but with distinct borders that separate the content. Um, makes for a cool sidebar for category pages or, or projects. We had a client recently use it to show like 60 uh, project pages and filter those, which is pretty cool stuff. Um, and of course you can mix themes together. So this thing called Enki, which I actually combined with um, a thing called Eridu to launch an online shop during COVID. Now that 
website went on to make $25,000 on its opening weekend, which is pretty cool stuff. It was on Channel 9 News, and you're going to learn the strategy I used to grow that website and get those sales on day five. And it could be fitting now to take a look at that news clip. Hey guys, Ben from Taps and Tins here. As you can see, the beer's still in the warehouse, still cold, still fresh. Um, order today to save the beer and support your local breweries. The closure of watering holes have forced some publicans to seek out creative alternatives with a new campaign called Taps and Tins being launched this weekend. The aim is to save jobs, businesses and tens of thousands of litres of beer from going down the drain. What we wanted to do is allow people to pick and mix everything that's on offer in the warehouse and have it freshly poured in the morning and arrive to their door in the afternoon. Okay, so there you go from idea to $25,000 in just 10 days time, all possible with a speed of execution like this.